drop, pen and drop. So then you go back to America and what, your dad stays in Spain at that point? Yeah, he stayed out there. He never came back after that. Are you guys like having any like conversations back and forth during that time? Nah, we didn't have a phone. We couldn't afford a phone. So it was more like um, on the weekends or something when we used to go visit my aunt, it would call my aunt's house. And well, she wasn't really my aunt. She was like uh, somebody my mom grew up with. So, but we used to go there on the weekends sometimes. So he used to call there and then I used to go over there on the summers. And every time I got into some trouble or something, my mother would be quick to send me out there. Whoa, whoa, okay. You jumping ahead in the timeline, okay? We got to cover this. <laughs> all right, my bad, all right, my bad. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so you come back to America, and you guys are now living in Yonkers, right? Yeah. And so, like, this is where you spent, like, the, the bulk of your, your childhood, pretty much? Pretty much, yeah. So then, during that time as a child, right, what were you into? Sports, school, music? Nah, I was into, like, graffiti and breakdancing. I used to live right across the street from... Um, Van Cortland Park in Yonkers. So back then, everybody used to go over there with the little radios and the boom boxes. And I used to be in the window all day. Since I was a little kid, I was in the window looking to the park. That's the only thing I see all day. So I used to see them break dancing and, you know, doing things. I w- that's what we was into back then. You know, and the, this is like the late 70s, you know, going into the early 80s. So that's what we were kind of into back then. Wow, so you're growing up right around the birth of hip-hop, right? Because what year are you born? 71. 71. Okay, so you're influenced by the graffiti and the breakdancing. Um, yeah. You said that you were really into graffiti, but were you breaking too? I was breaking a little bit. You know, I wasn't that good. We went to try out for a couple of things, but I wasn't that good. <laughs> wait, wait, I wasn't wait, that wait, good. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So can you, could you spin on your head? Nah, I didn't really do that. I was doing more like footwork and um, b-boying, up rocking, and you know stuff like that. Backspins and you know stuff like that. Can you still do the backspins? Nah, I haven't done that in years, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I might not be ass. able to get up, bro. What you trying to do? So you bro, said that bro. you you were um, you were trying out. So like, what did you try out for? I mean, we went to bad different competitions. Um, they had a big audition to go in Yonkers. They had a big audition in, in Martin Luther King High School um, when we was younger. But I was I was still in mid- before. I, I can't even remember how. I don't even think I was in uh, middle school. They had the tryouts and stuff to go to different um, movie tryouts. They, it, it was like if you made it there, they would send you to like, I think it was Beach Street and certain things. Like, but well, we, we never made it to the finals, you know. <laughs> Wow, so you had the the opportunity to possibly be in Beat Street. I mean, I don't I don't think I was good like that, but I did. I went over there. We went over there. We tried out. A couple of us went. Uh, you know, yeah. It so didn't go too. Did much. you have your own like breaking crew, or like it was just like your friends? Nah, it was just my friends. It was just my friends. We didn't have no name or nothing at the time. It wasn't nothing like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was just it was just kids that we grew up with from the neighborhood and. That's it. It wasn't really no crew back then. What about the um the gear at the time? Were you dressing like the, you know, the break dancers and everything? You had the the nice joints on. I mean, I mean, I didn't really have too much money like that. You know what I mean? Um, I think I had one weight one baker pants with the the suit, um, the the BVDs, the Lees. Yeah, I had a couple of those, but I didn't really have too much. It was what I could, uh, <laughs> whatever I could get my hands on. It wasn't like you know. Mom Dukes was going to spending money on, you know, on clothes. Right. She was doing her best at the time, right? <laughs> yeah, bro. So that's how I started so, getting into trouble to get clothes. So you were also doing graffiti. Um, did you have like a tag name? <laughs> Skip that. I'm not even getting into that one. I actually got indicted because of my graffiti name. So I don't even want to get into that. <laughs> that's how I what caught you- my case. That's how I got caught. Your uh, your case for My you case? being uh, for graffiti. Well, that I caught uh, plenty of graffiti charges, but when I got kept caught for my series charge, I got caught because of my graffiti name. They knew me by my graffiti name, and that's oh, what came wow. up in my indictment and everything. So I I try to leave that alone. You know what I mean? Got you. Okay. Yeah. Say less. Yeah. So uh, you're living in Yonkers during this time, right? What is the demographics of Yonkers? <laughs> Yonkers, it depends. Like South Yonkers, it, it was predominantly black. 
some Spanish and a lot of uh, Arab, like like uh, Arab people, you know what I mean? Like uh, from different parts. If you went to like the other part of Yonkers, which was like Park Hill all the way up, that's when you started seeing a little bit of Portuguese, Italian, Albanian. It was, it was really segregated at that time. Like, you know, South Yonkers was predominantly black and Spanish, but majority black. 